form of Ford's experience in building more than two and a half million tractors, is new power on the land. Here in these handsome and rugged tractors is more power and more performance per dollar than at any time in the long history of Ford farming. Here you have your choice of a wide range of great new models in three plow or four plow power. Gas, LP, or diesel. Power steering, standard on all row crop models and optional on all others. Built-in, live action hydraulic power with fingertip control of more than 100 Ford implements. A test of the Ford tractor of your choice, made on your own land, will help to show how much Ford power farming can mean to you. I'm Mark Chalero, the owner of MS Classic Cars. Today, I'm sitting on an absolutely beautiful 1958 Ford Powermaster 861 utility tractor. I'd like to start off this uh, presentation by saying this is a non-rehearsed video. There's a lot of information in this video that I will forget, so please visit our website at msclassiccars.com for a full description with tons of highly detailed photos. Um, if you have or have not been following MS Classic Cars, you know that I only collect number one and number two condition vehicles. I really strive to have quality. Uh, currently right now in our collection, we have over 60 vehicles. We put all of our vehicles through a very vigorous service process. We also detail them to the highest level. I'm not only into classic cars, classic trucks. Uh, as you can see in the background here, we have this magnificent 1969 Ford Mustang Shelby GT500, one of the best examples in the world that we are gonna be listing soon. Not only do I collect vehicles like that, but I also collect tractors, I collect dirt bikes, motorcycles, pedal cars, you name it, we've had it. You can check out a lot of those uh, sold items on our other items page on our website, again, at msclassiccars.com. To start off this uh, presentation here, before I get into the uh, logistics and information of the tractor, I would like to mention the story of how I actually found this. Uh, believe it or not, um, we just did a brand new American flag pole, uh, beautiful flag that we put up at my house, and I thought it would be really cool to have a farm all. I didn't want something too big in my lawn next to the American flag that I'm very proud to fly. Um, I wanted something small, so I was looking for a cub. So I went on Craigslist. I actually found this absolutely beautifully restored cub that was on Craigslist. 
and uh, called the gentleman. It was actually uh, Brian uh, Smith who answered the phone. Uh, it was Blake Smith's son. Uh, Blake is actually the, was the owner of this tractor, um, but I spoke mostly with his son in the beginning. He went over all the details on the Cub. I just decided the Cub was too nice to put in my front lawn, and it was something that uh, came with, a, with a, a cart that was being offered with it as well, and we did end up not making the deal on the Cub. However, in his photos of the Cub, in the background, I could see this tractor that I'm sitting on here today. Immediately when I looked at it, I had no idea what it was because it's extremely, extremely stylish, uh, Art Deco kind of flavor that it has. I just fell in love with the, with the tractor and the design, so I asked him if it was for sale. He said, Mark, uh, everything's for sale. I would absolutely sell it for the right price. When he sent me additional photos on the tractor, I was sold immediately. Uh, so I had it shipped, enclosed. Um, and here we are today. The guys did an outstanding job detailing it. I did mention earlier that we do service everything that we sell at MS Classic Cars. We will do a very quick service on this before it leaves. So feel comfortable that we will just do a once over. And I will also assist with the enclosed shipping. So if you're nervous about how you're gonna get it from point A to point B, uh, anywhere in the 48 lower US states, I will assist in that. Again, it goes inside of an enclosed trailer, just like a car would. We will wrap it with plastic. Uh, so when it arrives uh, at your doorstep, uh, they can take it right off the trailer, take the plastic off and put it right into your garage. So that's kind of the story of how I acquired the tractor. Uh, not to bore you with details, but what I would like to do is read some of the description uh, that I have on our website. Um, you, again, you can read all this information. There's a lot of uh, information here that obviously I can't memorize, but it's important that I communicate that with you. Uh, so let's start by saying uh, this was an all new model for 1958. Um, this is something that uh, was a really big deal for Ford because they were competing with Farmall, they were competing with uh, Deere, and they wanted something that was going to stand out from the rest of the pack uh, and boost their sales. So they came out with this beautifully designed tractor. This is more something that looks like a, like a fancy Lamborghini tractor or maybe a Porsche tractor. They did a beautiful job with its styling. Um, so. It was introduced again as a new model, especially a 50th year golden jubilee badging. You gotta check out the badge in our photos on the front of the grill. It is absolutely gorgeous. Something you'd see on a high-end car. Um, the overhead valve red tiger four-cylinder engine uh, was also part of the launch. The Ford Powermaster 861 is a utility tractor that was built in Highland, Michigan. Uh, the gentleman, again, that I bought it from, again, his name was, uh, was Blake Smy uh, Smith. His son's name was Brian Smith. They lived in South Lyon, Michigan, so it was right in the home state of where they lived is where the tractor was originally built. I thought that was pretty cool. They built it again from 1958 to 1962, so they made it for four years. This is the first year. Some would argue that the first year is the most desirable year, uh, has the most collectability, and so forth. The 861 is one of the models in the 801 Power Master series. In all of the one series tractors, the first digit of the numerical designation printed on the hood identified what the tractor was. For instance, this tractor has an eight, which means uh, it's a utility tractor with an adjustable front end. The second digit, which is the type of transmission, PTO, and hitch that the tractor was configured with. In this case, the six would be the second digit. It means it had a five speed, a uh, transmission with a three-point hitch and non-live PTO. The third number in this case, number one, tells us that it was a number one series tractor built between 1958 and 1962. So you clearly understand what the numbers mean. Um, by the time Ford's first series tractors rolled out in 1957 as 1958 models, Ford had recognized the need to join the horsepower wars being waged across the industry. As I just mentioned a minute ago, led primarily by Deere and Farmall. The tractors were shaped like their predecessors in the NAA and 100 series, but bore flashy new point schemes and dramatic grill designs. Again, this thing reminds me of like a Rolls Royce tractor. I mean, if you look at the front of it, it is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, the 501, 601, and 701 tractors were painted uh, red with gray fenders, grills, and wheels. They were also lettered with the word Workmaster name, which shared the 134 cubic inch overhead valve four-cylinder engine or the LPG engine. 
the more powerful tractors, which is what I'm sitting on today, was the 801-901 tractors that were dubbed Powermaster. It had gray hoods with the red stripe down the center. As you clearly can see how spectacular the color scheme is of this particular tractor here, um, and the red grill surrounds. The Power Masters were powered by a 172 cubic inch overhead four cylinder gas, diesel, or LPG engine. This tractor, which is serial number 14342, we did put that uh, picture of the serial number in our gallery of photos. Again, you can see that on our website at msclassiccars.com. Indicates that this was an earlier built tractor uh, in 1958, which is awesome. Again, it was purchased by Blaine Smith, who lives in South Lyon, Michigan. He owned the tractor for roughly 30 years. Uh, he owned a body shop. It was a very reputable body shop. He was a very um, a talented man in that regard. He could do a lot. He owned a beautiful collection of tractors. He still does today. This was definitely one of the prized possessions within his collection. Um, he's got a few other ones that I'm trying to buy. He's just not ready to sell them yet. So I even feel blessed to be uh, in possession of this tractor here. Um, after about five years of ownership of having this tractor, he decided to do a full-blown restoration. So as you can see in our photos, and as I will tell you, being a great judge of character with classic cars and high-end uh, things that we have sold over the years, this tractor is absolutely stunning. The, the sheet metal is all original to the tractor. It's super straight. When they were doing the body work and everything, the fit and finish was one of the things that they really strive for. I can't say enough about all the sheet metal and how beautiful it is. Uh, they do make a lot of reproduction parts for Deers and Farmalls and Fords and stuff. He didn't use any reproduction parts on this uh, tractor here, so he, he really used original steel uh, that it was born with, and he did, again, a beautiful job. All of these fenders and so forth, everything came out beautiful. Being in the auto body business, he painted it to a very high level. Uh, there's no doubt in my mind that this is a higher grade finish than what the factory would have done because obviously this was used to uh, do fields and so forth and used to work on the farms and everything else. Sorry about that, we had to actually interrupt the video because we're just loaded a car inside of an enclosed trailer and the driver didn't know that we were shooting a video so he just interrupted us, uh, so I apologize for that. But I will get back into our uh, presentation here. So as I was explaining, Everything on the exterior of this tractor has been restored to a very, very high level. Uh, Why we're on the subject of talking about kind of the exterior uh, items and everything, we'll get into some of the uh, lights and the gauges and everything. The front headlights are in great working order. You just flip this switch here, they come on, they work beautifully. You can see that again within our photo gallery, uh, all the pictures, we take a lot of pictures with our lights on, uh, tail lights on cars and things like that. All of the gauges, uh, even when you turn the key, which is located down here in the on position, you get the red light that indicates the key is on. The fuel gauge, the temperature gauge, the oil pressure gauge, the RPM gauge, everything is in working order. It does show 3,325 logged hours. That was prior, obviously, to the complete restoration. Um, Blake had told me this tractor was very tight. It was not a tractor that was worked really hard. Uh, so it was a great example of a tractor prior to the restoration. That's why he thought it would be well worth uh, the job and doing such a magnificent uh, restoration to it. Um, getting into the actual tires, um, again, I'm gonna reference my notes here so I don't forget. Uh, the tractor tires are Goodyear. Tractor, they is what they refer to them on on the side. They're 5.5 by 16s on the front, and they're Cambridge 16.3 by 28s on the rear. Obviously, these tires were brand spanking new. Um, this tractor has virtually no time on it other than to some uh, shows and so forth since completed. So again, these tractor tires are new. They still have knobbies on them and everything else. Um, getting into um, the actual engine, again, as I mentioned earlier, it's a 172 cubic inch engine. Um, it's an overhead valve, four cylinder. It's rated at 62.6 horsepower. That's a lot of horsepower for a tractor. Definitely very impressive, hence why they named the engine Red Tiger. Um, among the enthusiasts, again, this is a very, very sought after machine. It runs excellent. You're gonna hear when I start it in a minute. Prior to me purchasing it, uh, Blake had actually put in a Royal, uh, it's called a Royal King 
uh, heavy duty six volt battery. Uh, again, that was added in November of 2021. We just, just got this tractor. This is a brand new uh, deal for us here at MS Classic Cars, something we're very proud of. As I had mentioned earlier, based on the number designation, uh, this is a five speed manual transmission. It works very smoothly. Again, I'll kind of show the starting procedure here in a minute when I crank it up. Um, all the steering system, braking system, everything was gone through during the restoration. The rear stabilizer bars even have new chains on them, as you will clearly see in our photos. The chassis is a four by two, it's a two wheel drive. Um, again, once it was completed, uh, Blake had taken it to many shows and he did a lot of different things uh, amongst his community with it, parades and so forth. But the one thing that he mentioned to me, um, I had said to him on the phone recently, uh, I said, Blaine, what was, you know, what was uh, the mem you know, moment that you remember with the tractor? And he said that he actually took it to, he referred to it as Greenfield Village, which is where the Henry Ford Museum is in Dearborn, Michigan. Uh, he had actually went there. He does have hard copy photos of the tractor when it was there a few years back and he said he was going to try to get those photos for me maybe take a picture of the photos and we can add them to our gallery that's something that i'll wait on blaine uh, to get us um, again this vehicle it, this tractor here is not only a piece of american agricultural history but it's also a piece of artwork that i am super super proud of so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go ahead and start it i'm going to show you how beautiful it runs uh, like we do with all of our cars, I always give it a little bit of fuel, let you hear the exhaust system. This thing actually has a really sweet sounding exhaust. So first thing that we do here is we turn the key on. Normally there's a choke mechanism here that you would pull out and when you turn the key, you immediately push it in. Uh, we've already started it prior to this video. So the engine right now is warm. We've already cranked it three or four times prior to this video. Again, you're gonna hear how magnificent it runs. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the clutch in. Uh, it's in neutral right now and just hit the starter button here. And you can see it fires right up. It runs absolutely beautiful. You can not make this up. This thing purrs like a kitten. Extremely, extremely awesome. Super proud to have it. Uh, just an awesome vehicle. I'm gonna go ahead and shut this off really quickly here with the key. I'll start it one more time to show you how great it runs. I just want to take this opportunity to say, uh, if you want to follow MS Classic Cars, we suggest that you sign up for our VIP email blast, again, at msclassiccars.com. Please follow us on social media. We do all the social media networks. Again, MS Classic Cars is a very small company, but we are doing great things. Once again, we appreciate you watching. Rock and roll. Time to start up this tractor and plow some fields. Ignition on. Can't make it up. Thank you.